I'm David White. I'm uh, Pat Spallone's partner. And my experience of cavernomas comes from Pat's experiences. I didn't know anything about cavernomas, and uh, this all started when Pat started having uh, episodes of uh, what turned out to be epilepsy. I didn't even really know what epilepsy was. Certainly, I didn't know that what Pat was having uh, was epilepsy, but they were quiet moments when we would have to stop in the street because Pat was not uh, really aware so much of what was happening for maybe half a minute and these happened from time to time and became more frequent and of course at that stage we had no idea uh, what was happening so we went to the doctor, uh, we got taken to a neurologist uh, that was diagnosed as epilepsy, Pat was put on drugs and uh, that was uh, that was seemed to be a, a satisfactory thing in the sense that the drugs uh, worked and uh, all was good. The next thing from my perspective was uh, that what I now know happened is that Pat had a bleed, but at the time uh, she became less well and this was over a period of a few weeks and of course we didn't really know, I didn't know what was happening and neither did she and it was a little bit scary clearly. And uh, one morning uh, she uh, collapsed in the kitchen and I was upstairs. Luckily I heard her, came down and uh, we in fact rang up the surgery and I'd got her onto the sofa by that stage and we went round and he took us uh, seriously. Straight away he took us in uh, in the middle of his surgeries and sent us to the neurologist uh, straight away. Uh, we were very fortunate with the neurologist who said that Pat should go into hospital that evening and uh, we were with a neurosurgeon uh, the next week in Adambrooks, which was uh, a great experience in the sense that that was a lot of knowledge. But maybe I'm going a little bit too fast, because not only did Pat have the collapse, a number of other things happened. Uh, from my perspective, the most uh, interesting or the most uh, thing which really made me suddenly take it really very seriously was we went to the opticians, because Pat wasn't uh, really seeing very well. The optician saw us very quick, very quick time, fitted us in early because we were clearly in need, and uh, he showed us the normal chart, middle series of letters, can you read those? No, I can't. Went up to the stage, went up to the largest one, which was a single E, which to me was massive on the screen, and she couldn't tell what that was, and that was scary. And so perhaps that was the most significant thing in the sense it clearly was something well beyond my experience. So that was uh, the taking us to the neurosurgeon, and at that stage we had uh, brain scans. We may have had brain scans before, I actually, well, we did, we had a brain scan earlier which showed two small cavernomas, but the brain scan after the fall and the, uh, everything that had happened, now we know as a bleed, was a much larger cavernoma in her brain. And uh, at that stage the question was, should we have surgery or should we not have surgery?